Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to create and use templates inside of Microsoft's project. This tutorial will be focused on the new Microsoft Project 2024. However, if you're using a previous version of project, the steps will be pretty much the same. Before we jump into this video, we did wanna let you guys know that we are currently running a giveaway through the month of January for Microsoft software. One lucky subscriber will win a Microsoft software license of their choice from the Indigo Software website. To enter this giveaway, follow the steps in this video. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Project, Microsoft Visio, Office 2024, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so first we're gonna open up Microsoft Project. Let's go back to the file page. When you first start the application, it's gonna look something like this. Let's go ahead and open our project that we want to create a template for. For example, corporate video production. I'll go back to the Gantt chart here, and this might actually be a general layout for how all of my video production might be in terms of project management. And this is a great practice in project management. Let's say that these priorities and the columns and basically how I have this laid out here, it's kind of a general template for how all of my projects will be. Let's start by going back to the file tab and we're gonna click save as. Let's start by clicking into the documents folder. Inside of here, we're gonna create a folder, which I've already done, but we can right click and just hit new folder. So new and then folder and title this project templates. I won't make another one because I already have one. And then once you've done that, double click to open this folder and we're gonna change the save as type from project to project template, which is a .mpt. For demonstration, we're just gonna call this demonstration.mpt. Okay, we'll click save. Now, since we're saving this as a template, we may actually be interested in removing the values of all of the baselines and the rest of these options here. So I'm gonna select all of those and then I'll hit save. All right, and then let me go ahead and close this down without closing project. So we're just gonna go back to the home page. essentially. We're gonna say no on this. All right, so then on the open tab here inside of projects, we could either search for this or we can just see the demonstration.mpt since we recently created it. You could also just actually search this in your documents folder. I'll just double click from the tab here. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a change here just to make sure that this saves. So I'll click File and Save As. Here we can go ahead and save this to uh, our downloads and we're gonna give it a name. All right, and then I can close this down and I could go ahead and repeat that basically just to go ahead and start up a new template. And then as we can see, if I go back into File, Open, and then we go to our Indigo Project one, here we can see that the change that we made is reflected. So we can continue to do this to open new templates, but each one will be its own document so long as we save it to our Downloads folder. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Again, if you're interested in entering our giveaway for the month of January, you can enter by watching this video here. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.